this on one day, Monday, this on Tuesday, and then the car coat, the olive car coat with the gun patch on Wednesday, and the uh, navy blue diamond quilted vest on Thursday. I got two uh, sweaters that are similar to these, so I could just, I could really, I could really just do a crazy outdoor week at work if I wanted to. Fortunately, I don't. Believe From Hollywood to Soho, we be wearing polo. Knockoffs is a no no, that's just how it go though. You got it for the low low, it's probably US polo. A Beverly Hills polo, all of that is so so. In the locks and chevrons, cruise navy and lemon. Ralph Florin, where on? I'm buying what you sell on. Buy we pink and melon. Tell them about that rustic. Greetings, and welcome to another edition of Seamless Style, powered by Politics and Polaroid. I'm your host, Mr. Parker. <sighs> okay. So before we dive into the episode, I want to tell y'all a little something that happened. So I was suffering from severe depression anxiety because I was obsessing over the Invisible Man slippers by Rugby Ralph Lauren, the tweeds. And it was to a point that I was thinking of diabolical ways to get these slippers. And then I said, you know what? You're a gentleman man of principle you're going to have to practice patience you've got to find another way so I was grooming and I decided to pray to the beard gods and the beard gods responded and they said thou hast to prove if to thine beard and mustache gods. How bad it you really want those slippers. Me being me, I responded, what should I do, O wise man? And they told me, do something to make yourself stand out. I said, not a problem. So that explains that. Now, episode, cause they come. Them slippers is got. I can feel it. I can feel it deep down in my spirit. They come. This episode. This episode is about twins. What do I mean by twins? Very simple. Because of the history of the brand Ralph Lauren, because of the unfortunate comings and goings of Rugby Ralph Lauren, the comings and goings of Polo Sport, the comings and goings of Denim and Supply, the comings and goings of Black Label. But in particular, Rugby. But because of the comings and goings of some genres of the brand you may have two pieces that favor or that damn near look exactly alike and who am I to tell you that's ridiculous let the people that don't know or don't understand point their effing fingers and judge I'm not here to judge because I have plenty of twins but like, for example, the white cricket uh, cardigan sweater with the crossed oars over here, probably supposed to be cricket bass. We've had that conversation before, not about to have it again. But anywho, that particular sweater, uh, I have the one by Polo Blue Label. But my guy Reese has it, the same one by Polo Blue Label, and he has one by Rugby. 
Uh, there's a cricket sweater with a skull and crossed oars or cricket bats. Look long, oars. Again, we're not having that discussion. Uh, wine and black chevron. There's one by Rugby Ralph Lauren. There's one by Polo Blue Label. So that's what we're going to look at today. Not either one of those particular twin pieces, but we're going to look at other twin pieces. And we're going to style them differently. So I'm actually putting in a lot of work for this one, fellas. So show, show some love. Big shout out to Mr. Payne. But show some love because I'm putting in a lot of work with this one because instead of three rigs and this ensemble being the fourth, there's actually going to be six rigs and this ensemble is the seventh. Yeah, I'm putting in work. Anyway, the ensemble I'm wearing. We'll start with the cognac. Denver cap toe dress shoe. One of my favorite dress shoes in my collection of dress shoes. And as far as I can tell, one of my favorite dress shoes, period. I just love the details of it. But more importantly, more, even more important than the details, this color is just fantastic. This is the this is a the cognac to me is the best color for a dress shoe, hands down. I did a pin diet, uh, wine based pair of socks here. College green slim fit chinos, 1967 boat neck sweater. This was the one that was part of the Ralph Lauren, Mr. Porter collaboration. Now, I wanted the sweater the first time I saw it, but I'm, I'm just not giving Mr. Porter any of my money, so. I was okay with not ever having it. And then it showed up on Ralph Lauren's website about maybe 18 months after the collaboration. So jumped right on. Uh, it has a twin, obviously. The 1967 Rugby Royal sweater from about six, seven, eight years ago. That's just an absolute beauty. So I would say they're fraternal twins because the uh, Rugby Royal one is embroidered. This one is screen printed. This one is uh, Aviator Navy. That's Rugby Royal. So uh, some differences, but definitely twins, definitely related. I did a Rugby Ralph Lauren uh, Baker's Tam in a gray, a college gray. Uh, I wear to accentuate the overall aesthetic including and especially the uh, stash. And I went with this beauty, wide lapel, chaps, Ralph Lauren, uh, sports coat, plaid, mustard, slate, pewter, based, a little bit of green, a little bit of green, hues of green in there, but the mustard just pops. It pops on this navy, it pops off this green, all right? Uh, fragrance of the ensemble. Again, if we're talking about twins, then how can we not talk about the triplets, the Supremes? And we went with the one that was born first, Supreme Oud. All right. A monster, a beast of a fragrance, a weapon, if you will. Supreme Oud is just the ultimate in manly fragrances. So... That's our fragrance of the ensemble. It was a no-brainer again. We talking about twins today. What better twins than the Supremes, which is actually triplets. And we'll go with the firstborn, dude. All right? So without any further ado, y'all ready? Me too. Let's go. For our first look is a Fair Isle sweater vest. I told the story about this vest before. I had the Ralph's Tigers I ordered from the website. Just thought it was real unique and I had just got the uh, the uh, Varsity Letterman's jacket. So, I mean, for me, it, same Tiger is a no-brainer. It was a great look. I already liked 
a fair isle sweater or sweater vest with a letterman anyway so i just kind of felt like it was made for this particular purpose if it wasn't oh well right uh went into a factory store and saw this not realizing it was the exact same one but with, with but without the lettering until i got it home and then i said right of course because that's what they do with factory they take something that may or may not sell or may have been overproduced and they will remove some things from it to try to make it unique for the factory store and boom throw it in there and sell it so anyway i had two of them not a problem i love fair isle as do some of you i'm a huge fan so it was no problem for me to have the two because even though they are twins one has these graphics here ralph tigers in an embroidered orange felt and a beautifully detailed tiger head in the center one is your traditional fair isle pattern same pattern just without the graphics so one goes with this one goes with other things perfect perfect that makes perfect sense to me as i am sure it does to you so what do we do here two totally different looks we'll start with the varsity kid the letterman obviously the letterman uh jacket rouse tigers the football you've seen this one before got the cap the matching cap with it and uh we did a club collared tie i mean a club collared shirt i'm sorry club collared shirt uh columbia blue navy blue cream striped with the uh columbia blue small navy blue cream or off-white club collars club collar to the co club collared shirt all right went with uh your traditional navy and gold tie set uh rep tie except this one has heraldic crest all over it by polo blue label as well and we did a pair of slim fit navy blue corduroys small well now i'm not doing any shoes with any of these looks because across the board i strongly suggest something in a brown whether it's a boot or a dress shoe brown is going to be your your color of your shoe of choice and color of choice if i don't put a shoe with it for this particular episode hey you're getting six rigs that's enough all right now what did we do with the uh more traditional more laid back twin brother fair eye sweater vest well we went with a rustic chic look so we went with the small well quarters again but this time in a wine all right uh, again, we went with a club collar shirt. This one is by Double RL, and this one has an off-white base with uh, the same the same colors but different stripe pattern to it. Uh, Columbia blue with a navy blue with navy blue stripes. The club collar actually has a Columbia blue navy blue tattersall small tattersall design on the collar on the club collar which is also a cream or off-white more of a cream all right this is a, a wonderful double rl shirt i talked about this shirt in a previous episode how it reminded me of my grandfather's dress shirts where they just had that certain feel they were made they were made a certain way this double rl shirt is the same way all right went with a foul yard bow tie foul yard goes great with fair isle in everybody's opinion and then we went with this beautiful puppy's tooth Norfolk jacket with the uh, fold pockets at the top on both sides. I mean, I'm sorry, on one side, but the uh, gun patches, the the uh, soft leather gun patches and soft leather el uh, elbow patches in olive on both sides. This is a beautiful jacket, beautiful jacket three pockets all of them all of them have uh buttons to them just an incredible look man perfect rustic chic look and there's two totally different looks two totally different looks same sweater vest set for a few small little details on this on this bad boy right here but you can't beat this for for twin for twin uh twin magic i'd say something to the effect of 
you know, if you can dress how you want to dress when you go to the office, you know, it's not, it doesn't have to be a suit, whatever your job is. You could wear this on a Monday and then turn around and wear this on a Tuesday and they're going to say, okay, I, I, see, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. That's, that's going to be a conversation starter for sure. Okay, so our twin looks here are the uh, sports coat. The sports coat or, well, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to say sports coat. I, I don't, I guess you could call it a match play blazer because that just ro rolls a little smoother off the tongue. But I would say it's a sports coat. But anyway, these are your twin pieces here. Now, actually, from what I know to be fact, is that these are two of triplets. There's also a white one. There's also a white sports coat with a triple match play. I don't remember uh, the color under the lapel, but I have seen it. Um, Theo has the white one also. He has all three of the triplets. So uh, yeah, th these are actually part of triplets. Now, now, you know, in the comment section, you can let me know. Are there, are there, are there quadruplets? Are there quintuplets? How many of these are there? I know of navy, college green, white, all right? Now, what we did was we went with somewhat similar looks but one look is 100% uh, equestrian themed. And one is more of a casual with a little bit of sprinkle of dressy play on it. All right. So in essence, they're two different looks, but they both work well with the twin pieces. So let's start to our left. Your dressy component at the bottom. The collars velvet slipper with the match play motif on the vamp. Uh two players on one vamp, one player and the ball on the other vamp. Scroll up, we have a pair of chinos, GTH chinos. Instead of your traditional polo player GTH all over uh, chinos, these are a rare pair of Oxford uh, polo players and the player is in uh, is in different movements. It has a different different stylings going on with the player. So a rare find. I've had these for quite a while. They are they came in straight fit, but they fit more like a slim. So keep that in mind if you do see them and decide to cop. Now to keep it casual, we went with a plaid spread collared sports shirt with a lot of the uh, the colors that we see here: the college green, the navy, a uh, little bit of royal blue as well in that shirt. Now, I was going to even flip the collar up on the shirt, but I decided to just keep it tucked in since I had the tail hanging out. All right, hanging out from under the big polo player bear sweater from last year. Alonzo in his full polo regalia with the, uh, with the polo shirt and all on the uh, Oxford Pony, all right? So replacing the polo player with Alonzo bear, great sweater. Uh, college green, college green or Kelly green, uh, more of a Kelly green uh, uh, sports coat with the triple match play on the pocket. Flip the lapel and you have navy blue under the lapel. So casual look, you know, these nice sweater, beautiful jacket, uh, shirt hang, shirt tail hanging out. But then when you get to the bottom, you got the little dressy component. Now, this guy over here, full equestrian, polo boots polo equestrian riding boots uh straps on this on the side when you scroll up we had the iconic pair of uh of olive jodhpur pants olive with the chocolate brown uh patches riding patches on the in, inner inner knee on the inner thigh inner knee all right as we scroll up you see the iconic polo belt brown with the silver buckle with the big po uh big polo player in the center all right navy uh, the Navy uh, match play uh, sports coat. All right, Navy uh, Kelly green under the hood, under the lapel, under the hood, as we say, and we threw it on with the uh, with the turtleneck, the iconic turtleneck with the giant po the giant polo player on it, taking a nice swing, a nice hack at the ball, probably. Probably because it's a three on the sleeve, he's probably about to score a chucker here. You know, just pure equestrianism 
at its finest with this particular look. So again, we got twin pieces, fraternal twins, cause one's a green and one's a blue, but the same piece nonetheless. We have twin pieces and they're styled completely, two completely different ways, all right? And I'm a fan of both of them, have done them both. And yeah, I, I, I once I get the white, you know, I might do the white completely different from both of these looks. I might white the white out with some white jeans or some white shorts or something like that. That would probably be my look for the white, the triplet part of the uh, of these jackets here. I'm sure that there are rare occasions where a set of twins marry another set of twins. And there's probably more, or well, there's probably less of a rare occasion that a set of twins might marry a set of sisters or a set of brothers, depending on what the twins are. So that's kind of what these looks are because the actual twin pieces are these beautiful crew neck sweaters. Uh, collegiate style striped on the crew neck, uh, Shetland wool sweater with elbow patches on, on either. And then the, the set of brothers or sisters, however you want to look at it, would be your diamond quilted pieces. Uh, diamond quilted car coat, uh, the suede elbow patch, corduroy inside the collar, diamond quilted out, outerwear vest, corduroy on the inside of the collar, dual zip action there. These are definitely brothers or sisters. And then these are your twins here, all right? So what I did was I didn't really deviate as far as having complete opposite stylings with these two sweaters, I just styled them uh, two ways. And, they're, and the, the looks are very similar. They're very similar, uh, out, uh, outdoor look, an outerwear look, both looks call for boots. We'll start on the left here. Uh, I went with a rich pair of jeans here. So some dark wash, a rich pair of dark wash denim here. Again, like I said, with this look, you can do boots. Now, I do have some snuff uh, tassel loafers that would look good with this look also, and it would be fine. But for the most part, man, your favorite pair of brown boots. But anyway, rich denim, rich pair of denim here. You come up to the sweater. It's a slate blue with a, a like a pewterish gray mix, like an autumn gray, a heather gray almost. It's a great, it's a beautiful look, right? Elbow patches and a chocolate hue, chocolate suede. Did a, a spread collar shirt here that has a lot of fall colors in it. It has a couple of hues of gray. Uh, it has a spring gray, but it has a fall gray as well. Uh, like a French navy, uh, some plum, a little bit of green, beautiful, beautiful shirt, but we're gonna leave it tucked in. We're not gonna hang it out. You can, you can hang the tail out. It will be fine, but I just didn't choose to here. And then of course, like I said, the diamond quilted car coat with the uh, suede gun patch on the left side. And then we have this beauty over here, which if it's me, I'm definitely going boots with this one. Uh, no, no type of dress shoe. I'm definitely going boots, all right? Distress, repaired, distressed again. These are denim and supply jeans. Super distressed here, repaired with an actual army, army bag lining on the inside, man. Just a gorgeous, just a gorgeous piece of iconography here from, uh, again, like I said, from denim and supply. Scroll up and you have this wonderful, this wonderful pumpkin, fall orange and uh, and uh, uh, medium blue heather. This medium blue heather striped crew neck here with the uh, with the light tan, the light tan, y'all hear that eBay? With the light tan elbow patches. I, uh, I did a denim shirt, unbuttoned the, the collar and flipped it up out of the uh, sweater and everything and finished it off with this olive diamond quilted uh, outerwear vest, dual zipper action, uh, 
corduroy corduroy lining at the collar man just a perfect just a perfect fall look matter of fact both of these looks are perfect fall looks and i have a couple of sweaters that if i did this on one day monday this on tuesday and then the car coat the olive car coat with the gun patch on wednesday and the uh navy blue diamond quilted vest on thursday i got two uh sweaters that are similar to these so i could just i could really i could really just do a crazy outdoor week at work if i wanted to fortunately i don't go in office that often I go in office twice a week but um yeah this is the look that's right around the corner these are twins these are and these are their husbands or wives or whatever and that's another episode in the books. Little vodka and coke. Just something to wind down. Just something to wind down before House of the Dragon hits the TV. Anywho, we did twins today. Total of six rigs, six ensembles, not including what I'm wearing. But there are probably hundreds, probably hundreds of examples of twins in the world of Ralph Lauren. I mean, I have probably, I probably have close to a dozen here. So there was a lot of narrowing down for this episode. Because if I would have did 12 rigs, 24 rigs, First of all, would y'all have even sat through all that? Second of all, y'all would have had to pay me to release that. That's a lot of work. Just saying. Anyway, tell me what y'all think. Got, get in the comment section. Tell me what you think. What was your... Uh, matter of fact, what was the most diverse way I did twins in this episode? Like, they were twin pieces, but the ensembles were like way off the charts different tell me what you think all right hit that like hit that subscribe and tell a friend because we here and we here because we twinning and we winning all right artists paint pictures haters paint narratives don't be no hater all right y'all have a go